Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, thought I'd have a little bit of uh, fun today, so I'm just going to do some um, quiet talking, uh, quiet drawing rather, and uh, then I'm going to get straight into it. Okay. So I've drawn um, my uh, aggressive line if you like that's um, from how I was feeling inside and so now I'm just starting uh, to move along to just starting to do a few connections here and there and having a feel of the of the um, the, the feeling of itself of, of you know like pushing anything away that feels kind of negative and everything went for a beautiful dog walk this morning and the trees and the bare branches and I'm just starting to jit now so um, um it, they're looking very very pretty and they've got like a golden dark brown um, sense of um, colour and everything about them at the moment looking absolutely lovely so I'm still doing these connections here and um, enjoying the relaxation as I'm going along and I, like I said I've pushed all, all the negative forces out to the edges of the page as I'm working through now um, I'm going to be thinking about the walk and all the branches and so I'm doing a little bit thicker lines now over because there were much thicker branches nearer the front so I'm making those a lot more prominent now and uh, really enjoying that I'm now taking a protractor and drawing around it you know the beautiful uh, like almost like orbs that you see that are shining through the um, branches and the trees when the sun hits them perfectly and they almost look like um, prisms and uh, they're absolutely beautiful so um, I've drawn those nice and thick so that they're coming forward but if you look at them really although they look very large to uh, us here and now they're probably just the size of a button really I've just shown you these few pictures here because look at the neuro lines behind me that I spotted. Look in the branches of the reflection, the reflections, the shadows on the floor, and the trees. Look, and if you can see all the neuro lines from them, and it was like really uh, fun to notice them all. I thought you'd be interested in seeing the comparison of of what you actually see and the shadows. Look at these shadows on the hill here with these crocuses and everything uh, growing. So. Back to the picture anyway, um, so um, now I'm moving on, I've started to shade a little now but I'm using willow charcoal and I've just done a faint line around the edge and I've just smudged that in and I'm going to be working with the willow charcoal now, just pushing it round the edge of the circle, not making a big thing about using willow charcoal, it makes a good resistance on the paper for when you put down watercolour actually. Um, it kind of mixes in with it but it also adds a bit of a resistance which is good so I've put it on quite thick and heavy around the edge of where I want it to go and then I'm going to be smudging this in now with my finger and um, really if you want to smudge this in you really should use a, um, a rubbing stick you know um, using my fingers like this it's okay but it leaves like a, um, a film of grease really if you was doing like a, any portraiture uh, where you really w really would not use your fingers um because i'm going to be going over mine anyway i thought it, i didn't think it would hurt much anyway but i'm just um using it to add the dark and to make them look more sphere and more like a sphere and a ball that is like floating through the through the branches as you can see so I'm um, showing the technique here of how that you rub it all in and um, adding a little bit more and not being frightened of charcoal. It's a, it's a beautiful uh, medium. It's one of my favourites. can be a little messy, but uh, it's no big deal. Just blow it away and you can always wipe down. I've always got baby wipes at the side of me. So uh, pushing it round the edge a bit more now, making it a little bit darker around the sides. I'm really enjoying this and it's really bringing them forward as you can see 
and um, smudging it and slowly like using a circular motion and then dragging it out to the center towards the center I'm showing you this in slow motion now where you can see it just as I'm pulling it towards the center so it gives it that more of a sphere uh, look towards it um, very easy to do um, you'll have to have a go it's really good fun um, just uh, enjoy it you know um, pop over to Fate Susie's uh, art on uh, Facebook and uh, befriend me and I'll uh, you know send me a friend request I'll accept you and then you can show me your pictures and you could put them on and um, I would love to see what you've been creating and what you're having a go at so here just still slowing you in um, slow motion um, and then it um, is going to change and speed up again and then shortly I'm going to be adding a little bit of colour I'll take it to the colour blue again I don't know why it just seems to be it just seems to work for me at the moment and I just really enjoy it I just enjoy the colour of it um, it's it, it's just partly of what I see and feel when I was down um, on my walk this morning it was just so lovely you know you could see all the balls of light coming through the trees and um, you know the sun was sparkling off of the streams and the water that I was walking past it was so pleasant to see and um, as the um, you know as the light shone through it was just magnificent to see proper felt like summer was on its way you know spring was on its way and uh, the trees as like i said earlier are they really are starting to change color now so um that was quite nice to see as well and it was it was warm enough to be walking without my coat how lovely was that <laughs> So anyway, back to this picture. Um, I'm spreading the spreading it across more. Um, still in slow motion here. Um, I'm trying to get across to you the technique that I'm using. It's not just to say, it's, you know, it's not just a case of just oh, I'm going to just smudge it. It's a it's a case of like adding a little bit more of a layer onto it and then and then um, smudging it in and then doing a little bit more darker and then smudging it in so it, it's blending it really well if you've got blending sticks they are much better but uh, mine have all had it I really need a new set so um, yes and so then um, still showing you this in slow motion um, it's really it's really um, important to drag it in towards the center because with it being charcoal don't forget if you drag it in too much it doesn't matter because a, a rubber will soon bring you back that beautiful bright white light that you want to shine on the top of the ball to show and to make it look very much like a sphere so it is important to be able to uh, bring this together now um, when I add colour, I um, tend to sort of like leave um, the white around um, around the top areas to decide and show which way that the light is actually coming through. Um, so coming towards the end now of um, showing that you're in slow motion, uh, moving on. So here's some uh, pictures now of how it's blended. That's blended in lovely. Seems a shame really um, to go back in with the charcoal. Um, so I'm going around it again now and just adding more um, depth and darkness around the edge because it's still not quite the, the, the sphere that I would like it to be. You know, I want it to look like it's actually inside that net, remember. Um, it's a good way of describing it and, and it, you know, it's a good way of doing it. So um, pushing that around and um, really darkening in that up. Not giving it chance to settle. The more that you give it chance to settle and the more that you think about it, um, the, the harder it is. Willow charcoal, it's lovely and soft. I, I love it. Um, I buy it off at Amazon. You, know, you get a little box. It's not very expensive and you get, oh, I don't know, 10 pieces of uh, willow charcoal in there. And that will last me, oh, it would last me for years. Um, some people like to break it straight away and use it like the sharp edges. 
Um, but because of what I was doing, I didn't mind leaving it um, quite whole for a change, actually. Um, I have been known to just drop them on the floor and just break them, but at this moment in time, I didn't feel like that that was necessary, really. So I'm still pushing this in up against the edge, uh, making sure that I don't go over the edge. Although in one area, I think that I did, um, but it's quite easy. You can rub it out with a rubber. It's no big deal. So moving on now again, blending this in and showing you how that you're pulling it circular motions and then pulling it closer towards uh, yourself to make it like have that depth and that round feeling to it. Um, it really isn't easy, um, but um, yeah. And then you, you just keep layering that up. So you do one layer and you, you smudge it and then you go around a little bit darker and you pull that in and circular motions and then you smudge it and then you pull that layer in and then and then you keep doing that until you're satisfied that it's uh, round enough for you and for your liking remember it, it is all about your liking it, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks and, you know, people are probably not going to buy these um, kind of paintings. I'm, I really don't care. I just, I just paint for myself and uh, and um, do do things for myself. But one thing I love about abstract work and for neurographic as well. It, well, this is more neuro art, isn't it, rather than neurographic? But um, it, it's you can you can just take millions of photos when you're out walking you can sit there and you can draw and you can mark make and um, maybe tomorrow i should be going back because this this uh, video isn't finished maybe tomorrow i should be going back and doing some more mark making in my sketchbook and things so uh here now um i'm showing you what um it's come out like um so far uh shortly i'm going to be adding some color um, just twisting it round still still not happy with that bottom half semicircle I can see um, That's the circle that's going to be at the top actually at the top of the page That's the way around that I want it. I've just turned it so that you can see um, I do apologize for the um, The white light that you can see at the side of the picture. That's the light um, my my round circle light and um, it's at my side really so so there I am just blowing it all off. So now I've got a tea towel here and I've got at the top of the page some um, black blue uh, watercolour paint and I'm running it down. I run it down onto the tea towel and stood it up. Here now I'm blending in some blue with this charcoal and it gives it a little bit of a dirty look but then it gradually goes more and more blue as it dries. I'm adding uh, bright orange splatters to it as though it's giving movement and also when I looked in back in some of the pictures and if you look back in some of the pictures that are showing you there are some orange areas amongst these trees um, which uh, I will be showing you soon and uh, bringing in some uh, woody or using a woody pen um, using uh, some orange there it's given it a lovely effect because it made it look like the, with the runners in the background because they're more pale um, and it's not it's like knocked them back because they're paler than what the the uh, balls and the neuro lines are in the front of the picture and they're a little bit more thicker I'm just checking that there's no more neuro lines here that I've missed because obviously I made more connections did more lines with the runners so uh, the drips so um, it's created more neuro lines so obviously I wanted to add to those a little bit on the connections showing you some little close-ups so as you can see like the thick lines are coming forward and then the uh, the uh, runners are fainter and they're going back just gone round them um, with a little black pen here I'm using a woody bright orange pen and using a, a technique of just like I call it scrum scrumbling really and just like uh, just scrumbling my hand around and not really looking at it or more of a um, you know not so much of a precious area so um, 
and I'm doing that in a few areas and if you look at all the circles are different shapes and sizes so all these little marks and everything to send, send the eye around the painting they all need to be different as well sizes and everything they mustn't be like the same um, the, you know the there's a bright orange ball that I'm doing now and smudging that in woody pencils are a little bit like charcoal really but they're not and they're like a cross between a watercolor and um, a charcoal if you've never used them before they're oily and they're, they're quite expensive they're chunky and um, but um, I have got a good selection of them and I keep them in a pencil case so they're lovely as well to use and um, yes and it's set, set in the picture off nicely as you can see now here's some close-ups um, with woody if you, you can add water to them like a watercolor pencil as well with woody pencils and um, they're great to take out on location they've got some extremely nice colors they've got a lime green which is lovely when summer comes so um, I hope you like the video and I'll continue doing another video shortly um, I'm going to be going down on location to Red River from where I've got all these pictures from uh, from this walk and um, I'll do some uh, videoing of that and um, like I say I hope you've enjoyed it and the splatters that's coming off now you see that it's making them look like that they are moving as they are so I'm just spinning them round just as a bit of fun really um, I'm not trying to make you dizzy just to show you the techniques and what I've actually done and when it's all put together it, it looks nice a lovely thing to do and not bad from just a little scribble when I started out like I say um, I hope you've enjoyed it and have a go pop over to Susie's art as I said on uh, Facebook I think it's called Susie's Neurographic uh, Art now uh, send me a friend request and I'll accept and then you can send me some of your work on there I'll love, love to uh, comment and like them all and uh, you can all share to the page bye